Debris is scattered across much of central Virginia tonight. Yeah, the crews are still out surveying the damage after heavy rain. Strong winds moved through the area. One confirmed tornado that we know of, probably more. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell joins us. She is live tonight along Timberlake Road. So, Jessica, what are you seeing? I know it's a lot. John, it is a lot. The amount of damage is incredible. Take a look behind me. This business, we don't even know what it is. It is completely unrecognizable after the storm ripped through. I've also been talking with people who worked at some of these nearby businesses. They tell me that these cars that you're seeing over here that are toppled over, tumbled across this parking lot, and landed over here. Now, most of the damage in this area is to businesses and those cars because this is a commercial area, but just a street over this storm wreaked havoc on several homes, and we got a chance to talk to some of the people who live in those homes today. Thinking about it just gets me choked up a little bit. This is what's left of Cecil Mayhew's home on Brooklawn Drive near Waterlick Road. He was sitting on the couch in his living room Sunday night when all of a sudden I heard it rumbling. Then I felt the building shaking. He moved here to the hallway to take cover. I laid down. I told my 90 year old aunt to get down. And then next thing you know, the building is starting to come apart and I'm laying on the ground watching the roof come off of place. The damage stretches down the street, snapped trees, mangled metal, shattered car windows. Do you see that wood right there? That's the roof of our back porch. John Canals was inside his home when the storm hit. It's just a screaming sound and banging. A little piece of glass came close to my eye, the glass flying all around, and then that was that. I came out and saw this devastation. Now, canals and people living all along Brooklawn Drive are starting to pick up the pieces, but they're not doing it alone. I'm running a chainsaw, <laughs> cutting trees and helping them move wood. Hundreds of volunteers spent their day helping the people devastated by this storm start the road to recovery. When I see somebody who's in need, my first reaction is, I got to do something. Neighbors helping neighbors, finding the light despite the darkness. We're living. We can replace this. Thank you, Lord. You feel so violated when this sort of thing happens yeah. by life. You know, your safe space. We can't go back to live in it until, you know, it's, it's all fixed up. Um, but when everybody shows up to help out, you really feel loved. You too. Those residents we spoke with say in the meantime and while they're waiting to get back into their homes, they're going to stay with friends, family members or at hotels. It will certainly take a lot of work to clean up all this damage, but there's already a lot of people stepping up to help. Live in Campbell County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.